Yo, what's up guys? This is Bart Bregman here from IQOptionWiki.com uh, Today with another tutorial for IQ Option. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, Fibonacci, Fibonacci lines, Fibonacci retracements and how that works uh, because it's very complicated or it looks very complicated but actually it's very easy. Uh, let's dive into our website. Um, if you see here we have the Fibonacci retracement article on our website. Uh, what Fibonacci is is an uh, it's a mathematical Italian from around, uh, I think it's 800 years ago. I don't, I don't really know. What he calculated, if you have a mathematical cal calculation uh, from plus, plus, min, minus, plus, plus, uh, you have to look up the, the equation. And not really important for this video, but you get this uh, circle that expands, expands, expands. And you see this, uh, this pattern, you see it back er everywhere in nature as well. It's a very common pattern. Uh, so that's why we also use it in trading uh, for the retracements. Uh, you can just set it up with the IQ Option platform. Uh, if you want to have a look at the article, go to our website and we'll put a link in the description of this video. And then uh, what we do with this Fibonacci retracement tool is you draw a line from the bottom to the top and then it uh, is going to retrace. Uh, probably to the 38.2 uh, level, the 50% level, or the 61.8% level. Those are the three levels that are most important. Uh, sometimes it bounces also from the uh, uh, 23, but that would not be a uh, recommended entry point for a trade. Uh, but you try to uh, use this in the main, main focus trend. And uh, let's uh, have a look at some examples in the IQ Option platform, how we can use this, uh, how you can practice with this, uh, because it needs a little bit of practice and drawing uh, to use this actual tool. So in the IQ Option platform, uh, you can see this is the uh, main trend going upwards, but you can also see that the market is going up a little bit, then down a little bit, up a little bit, then down a little bit, up a little bit, then down a little bit, up a little bit, and what we what we want, we want to have this as our entry point and this as our exit point. And then this is our entry point and this is the exit point. And we can measure that with the Fibonacci retracement. Uh, let's uh, draw graphical tools. Fibonacci retracements. And now I want to show you the circle one, one second. So you're gonna draw the circle like this. Don't laugh at me if my circles are not round. 61. 100. So now you see the same pattern circle. Uh, those are measured with the lines. The 50, the 50% 50 line uh, is not an actual Fibonacci retracement. It's a 50% move of the line. We just use that as an extra measurement tool by trading because it usually hits the 50% line and then it retraces. So that's that's a extra uh, an extra line we added because we uh, because it's a very helpful line uh, for for trading. So uh, now how can we use this this tool? Uh, we gotta zoom in a little bit. Um, you gotta take the low and the high. And then uh, the market will go up and then down. And then here, especially this point, it went all the way back to the 61.8 uh, level. And it would be our entry point. And uh, that could be a good entry point. And you put your stop loss a little bit below that. Uh, so you have a stop loss. Because if it breaks, it can go down all the way much much further and can, can mean trend reversal but if the main trend uh, continues uh, this would be a good entry point and you can take it all the way up to here then you enter the trade and what you can do then is you can uh, reverse the uh, Fibonacci so that means our bottom top goes to to the bottom So now we made our upper point low and our lower point high. Uh, and now you can see it uh, retra It goes all the way up until the 161.8%. Uh, 
and that's usually it's a very common point uh, where the trend reverses back into a down pattern uh, so that would be a, a nice target to go exit your trade and so we can use that on and on and on uh, to determine uh, trends in the market because now again I can uh, for example bring my lower punt low and can bring it here again and you can see 38.2 it went all the way to 38.2 and then it reversed so that will be a nice entry point so by that way you can use the Fibonacci to uh, to predict a trend uh, reversal point and it will be a good entry point here for a little bit of upside in your trading uh, and then you can reverse the uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement levels and then you can use it for the upside for your exit in your trade so that's a little bit how it works you have to play around with it uh, you have to figure out uh, how you're gonna trade uh, how you're gonna put your entry points uh, usually myself I don't use it a lot uh, I usually sometimes use it just to check for exiting trades uh, but some people they swear by it <coughs> Some people they swear by it, by it and they use it every day, it's the only tool they use. And uh, that's why I wanted to give you this, this video. Uh, it is a helpful tool, uh, a lot of people like it, a lot of people use it, that's why you see always, always those points. It becomes a, almost a self-fulfilling prophecy because so, so many people use the Fibonacci retracement levels and uh, uh, that's why it's so, so that's why, why there are so important points uh, of reversal in the market because if everybody looks at the Fibonacci uh, it is going to work because if every, everybody believes in it everybody's going to use it and then it's becoming a real thing right so that's what I want to talk about in this video thank you for watching uh, if you haven't subscribed yet um, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to help me out you can also like this video and uh, if you have any questions put them in the comments down below and uh, happy trading.